The Myrtle Beach Classic is officially happening over Mother's Day weekend and organizers are already looking to get people involved. Our Tegan Brown is live from Dunes Beach and Golf Club where the event will be held. So Tegan, how many people are they expecting and what can those attendees expect when they show up? Well, Rachel, tickets haven't even gone on sale for this yet, but the president of the club told me he's expecting about 10,000 people per day. And for those who want to come to the event, there are going to be a ton of affordable and exciting aspects. While the Grand Strand is known for a wide number of courses, this is the first time Myrtle Beach has hosted a PGA tournament. Tournament director Darren Nelson says it's clear that there was a want. I think they have, I don't think, I know, they just have passionate people in this community right now that want to see a PGA Tour event here. Um, so yeah, being the golf capital of the world, I think they just looked at themselves and says, why do we not have a PGA Tour event? People who want to go to the Myrtle Beach Classic can expect the opportunity to participate in Pro-Am, where they can pay to play with the professionals. There's also family-friendly areas during the event, and even a potential junior golfers camp. But for those who want to attend, Tickets will be about $50. It'll be, it'll be affordable for people to come out and see it because they want it to be affordable, so it'll be great. While you can go to the event as a fan, they're also looking for hundreds of volunteers. And right now we have a landing page. We're collecting names and contact information. When we go live to the public in October, we'll reach back out to those folks and put them through the official registration process. But yeah, MyrtleBeachClassic.com is where they can sign up right now. PGA is also looking for local charities to benefit from the proceeds of the event as well, and they can show their interest on the website too. Year one, we know whether this event you know, makes a dollar or makes you know, whatever amount of money, we're going to give over $200,000 back to local charities. The Myrtle Beach Classic is going to be in the Grand Strand for the next four years, but tickets aren't going to go on sale until the fall. So once those go on sale, they'll be on the Myrtle Beach Classic website, and you can find a link to that website on ours. Reporting in Myrtle Beach, Tegan Brown, WMBF News.